Here is your market update for the month of August 2020. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian Medina, local realtor to the city of Chino and all of its surrounding areas here in SoCal. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit like, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time I put up a new video. In this video, I'm gonna give you a market update for all the detached single family homes. And I'm gonna be more specific for the city of Chino while still being able to show you what's going on in every other county. And I'm also gonna be putting the link below so you can see what happened for the month of August, 2020. So what exactly are we looking at? We're looking at numbers year to year. We're gonna be looking at data of August of 2019 and comparing it to data of August of 2020. All right, so let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. So just a breakdown here. The blue line is the entire MLS. So this is every single county, everything having to do with the, the state of California. And then you have the city of Chino. So as compared, the Chino is going to be way at the bottom here compared to the actual, the entire MLS. Okay. So if we're comparing year to year, this is active listings. So for the entire MLS, we're down 44.9% from a year ago. So you'll see here in the month of August, we had 52,891. And now we have, we have 29,145. Now for the city of Chino, there was 184 new active listings, and now we only have 112, and we are at negative 39.1%. So not too, again, not too many homes that are active right now for the amount of buyers that we have. New listings. Tire MLS, we're negative 5.2% year over year, and Chino, we're at negative 2.4% for new listings. Pending sales. Tire MLS, uh, we're at negative 0.9%. Chino, we're at negative 1.7% year over year. And these are what pending sales are, are homes that are in escrow right now. They were on the market, they received an offer or offers, they've accepted one and they're currently in escrow. Next are the close sales. For the entire MLS, we're at negative 1.9% closed deals and for the city of Chino we're at positive 69.2 percent year over year so here is month supply and let me give you a definition of what this means one to six months of inventory which is the supply is considered a seller's market so anything between one and six months of inventory is going to be considered a seller's market six to 12 months of inventory is considered a normal market so that being said, right now, we are still in a seller's market. For the entire MLS, we're at an uh, average of 2.3 months of supply. And for Chino, we're at 2.2 uh, months supply. So that's a negative 45.0%. With the interest rates being so low, we don't have enough inventory out there for the amount of buyers. So days on market, what this tells us is how long is it taking for a property to sell once it hits the market? For the city of Chino, it's taking 10 days before it sells. The entire MLS, it's 12 days, so not that big of a difference. So this is why you, you list a house, it's priced correctly, you're gonna get multiple offers, and you're gonna sell this within 10 to 12 days. Another thing to look at is the percentage of original price. And what this is, it's the percent of the original list price received. So if you list a house at $500,000, that is your original list price. So it's the ratio between a starting price and a selling price. This metric allows you to assess the pricing power of sellers in any given market, the levels of supply and demand, and the desirability of a market. So that being said, so since March of this year, we've been at 100%. April, we were still at 100%. Chino was at 100.2%. Then we took a dip, right? We took a dip due to what? Due to COVID. From April down to May, it took a dive and then it exploded in June, at least for Chino it did, and then it all came together here in July and it's been over 100% ever since. The median sales price for a home right now for the entire MLS is $670,000. So from a year ago, we're up 11.1%. That is huge. For Chino, the median sales price is 562,500. 
or plus 9.2%. And in this metric, I want to show you from the month of July to August right now. For Chino, it was a median sales price at 530, the entire MLS at 650, and just a month later, we're at 562, 500 for the city of Chino and 670 for uh, the entire MLS. And my best guess right now, it, this is gonna keep climbing and climbing and climbing. Now this climb is gonna change at some point. I mean, they can only go so high, right? If we continue with the low inventory, which I think we will. And one of the reasons being is still having COVID around and not having the vaccine. CD says that the vaccine will be ready for by third quarter or fourth quarter of next year. So for this whole time, we're not gonna see too many sellers wanting to put up their houses for sale because they're scared of COVID. They don't want people walking through their homes and having the possibility of getting sick. A lot of people are just waiting for this vaccine to hit and for COVID to start clearing. And that's probably gonna happen somewhere around 2022. That's one thing that can happen. A second thing that can happen is that with every passing month, it becomes harder and harder for buyers to buy and therefore they become discouraged. Why? Because the prices are being pushed up so high meaning the mortgage payments are gonna be higher. And also the, these bidding wars. I mean, if you're getting 30 offers for a property after a month, some buyers just get tired of looking and they wanna hold off. And what happens next is that the demand gets lower and the supply starts to rise because people aren't buying and more people are gonna start selling. And that creates a shift in the market from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Or in another scenario is that buyers can catch up to the supply and they can go through all the inventory and it becomes more of a normal market so there you have it guys if you own a home and you have been thinking of selling your property right now is the time to do it take advantage this is where you're gonna make the most amount of money in your pocket now if you're an owner and you're comfortable where you're at and you don't have a need to sell stay where you're at what I would advise you if you have a higher interest rate is to refinance but don't pull any money out refinance for a lower interest rate if you guys want more information about that, please contact me and I'll set you up with one of my lenders. So the top three reasons you want to sell right now are because the interest rates are so low. Buyers are flooding the market right now with this low inventory, which is why sellers are getting top dollar for the homes. What I'm seeing right now is the overbidding. There's a lot of people that are overbidding that have cash on hand. So an example of that would be if you know that the home is not getting appraised for 500,000. The buyer is making an offer at 515 and they're also saying, hey, you know what? We're gonna remove the appraisal contingency. If it doesn't come in at value, which is at 515, we'll come in with the difference. So the difference between 515 and 500,000 is the $15,000 that they're willing to put out of pocket in order to close at home, which is driving the prices up. Therefore, driving the prices up for that area is, as well. Reason number two, you have all of the negotiation power right now. For the last couple of years and even earlier this year, buyers were able to ask for closing costs from the seller, for a home warranty from the seller, get the termite inspection one with clearance done by the seller. Now the sellers are getting anywhere from 15 to 30 offers for the house. Not only can they get a higher price, but now they're negotiating and not giving any closing costs, not paying for any of the home warranty or termite inspection reports or clearance. So you have all the negotiating power right now. Just remember, you always want to list a house, no matter what market it is, you want to list it right to be able to get all those multiple offers on the property. If you price it too high, then it's going to sit there and become stagnant. And reason number three is, of course, again, because the prices are high. A lot of sellers right now are starting to notice that, even though it's been going on for the last few months, now they want to put their homes on the market, creating more competition for you. So do you want to wait? when all the competition comes in and floods the market, or do you wanna take advantage of it now where there's really no competition? So hopefully this information helped you. If you wanna get more information on what to do to get your house prepped up in order to get sold, click on this video over here. If you want information about contingent sales, meaning you selling this house before you can purchase another house, click on this box over here. And finally, if you guys have any comments, please place them below. If you want to reach out to me directly, you'll also find that information below. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.